of cultural capital. Let me explain what cultural capital is. The cultural capital is your ability to build an organic community and that community will help you unlock resources and it will help you expand into different verticals. Uh, today we are seeing a, a remarkable shift from technology to culture. And I really believe that the next wave of innovation is not technological, but in fact it is cultural. You know, what we have seen over the last 10 to 15 years, you've seen all these tech companies being able to expand to different verticals simply by their technological prowess, economies of scale. They've been able to go into all these different verticals. Well, I believe in the next 10 years that you're going to see organizations be able to expand to different verticals um, simply by leveraging their communities. Let me give you one example of an organization that I actually don't admire, I don't follow, but I respect the business model. Um, and this company is called Barstool Sports. See, Barstool started as a print media publication in 2003 by a guy named Dave Portnoy. And over the years, he's been able, and the organization has been able to create this really unapologetic brand. And number three is that they've been able to expand to different verticals because they have an engaged, loyal fan base. They've been able to get into crypto and to food, to fantasy, to, to betting, to all these different verticals because they have a community. In fact, uh, they believe that they can do anything because they have the community. What is crazy is that they've been able to create cultural capital by understanding this one fact, which is the most precious asset in the world is attention. They've been able to garner that attention. If the most precious asset in the world is attention, the community is the gold mine. In fact, I believe that community is the new brand and it is an unfair advantage. And listen, um, I, I, I I never swear in any of my presentations uh, because I think it's uncouth. But um, uh, the beauty about virtual is that I, I think you can mute. So I'm going to give you a five-second ta tape delay because I think uh, it's appropriate. And if you have kids around, you can, you can put a, a mute button on. So uh, five, four, three, two, one. This is what I think is so fucked up. Is that every media and retail organization on the planet is literally trying to create a community. They're actually trying to create what you already have. You have engaged members that care so much about your organization. They're trying to create communities so that they can sell their stuff and monetize their stuff on top of it. And I really believe that this is where the opportunity for credit unions is really is, is it's leveraging the power of your community. It, you know, I believe that the future of a credit union is not just financial services, but it's really becoming that platform for your community, um, whether it's uh, you know, events or digital or virtual communities or um, just helping your communities and your members grow their businesses, not only helping them save money, but to make money. Um, uh, it's, it's a lot more than just financial services. And, and, and this is why I really believe that this is the time, like this is the moment, this is the inflection point for credit unions, is that you have this community, which every single organization on the planet is trying to build, and it's impossible to build, and you already have it. I think this is such a great opportunity for us to double down and unlock the power of our communities. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I bet the next video is going to be even better. So hit subscribe and we'll chat in the comments.